Yes, that was a, um, I don't know if it was a shout, scream, go mad, whatever on that performance. We asked for four at the back. We've got four at the back. We started off very, very shakily. I mean, before Juicy Jake trips the geezer in the box, which he's never seen in on, he's given away two stupid chances with where he's, 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 he just doesn't look comfortable on the ball, Juicy Jake. I don't know why. You know, he's got Hutch next to him again, which is um, his preferred partner. Murray Wallace also looked very leggy. He, he, Murray Wallace, as much as I like him as a person and as a Millwall man of the season legend, I don't think he's got a footballing brain. He doesn't seem to be able to push forward. I mean, their goal was the start where he cut inside and he tried to be clever and pass it out to Blurry and it, it broke down. But then when it broke down, he'd gone. He'd gone out of position. So therefore, that bloke was pushing back now onto Juicy Jake and he was there tracking back as well. And Jake's just like, um, he's pushed it past Juicy Jake. It's going, it's going out of play. Juicy Jake commits a sliding challenge and he takes the geezer's legs away. There's people standing around me, ain't a penalty. Can't fucking believe it. I'm like, like the bloke next to me, it's a stonewall. It's an absolute stonewall. You know, from that point, the geezer steps up. Very unlucky in my opinion, long. A lot of people saying that, you know, Bart would have got it. Would he have got it? We'll never know. He made a decent, decent hand on it. It, it sort of went that way. It come, he saved it. It went down and it sort of come off of the, his elbow. You know, you've got the angle and went in the goal. You, you can't odds that. You can't odds that because, you know, on the flip side of uh, Long, you can blame him for that. Didn't have a lot else to do, but I'll tell you what, he's kicking tonight. Though it's not Rowett's preferred way of attacking, I'll tell you what, that was a weapon for us tonight. He put, the, he put the best balls into the box that any Mill players put all season and consistently. It was obviously a ploy up to Cooper in the box. Cooper lays it down and then there should be someone following on like a Fleming or a Bradshaw or a Phoebe. Even sort of um, old uh, Savile, Georgie Savile, but they weren't there a lot of the time. We created a few chances of note there was the one where it was a nice little ball into the box. He's held it up and he's come across. He snapped it across the box. He's, what's his name, Bradshaw? He's put his toe out. I mean, if he's an inch tall, he hits enough on it and it goes in. <laughs> by the by, there was another one where it went back to the back of the post. Juicy Jake's headed it back across the goal. It took a little deflection. Bradshaw, because he's only five foot nothing, as not just not couldn't get over the ball to get enough on it to go in the back of the net. It's another one gone begging. It's another one gone begging. And in my opinion, it's a, it's a marked improvement with the performance against arguably the poorest side in the league. A team that a lot of teams would expect to put them to the sword and quite comfortably. Millwall didn't. We attacked into the final third with, with a bit of impetus. We come forward at pace. I loved it. Then all of a sudden, instead of playing a killer ball, slip it through, we slipped it left or right. There was a couple of times Puri's tried to pull it wider and wider and he ended up walking out of play. Now, he should be, he should have some space awareness of where he is then. The jury with me with the, the jury's out for me with Tyler Puri. I don't think he does enough. I don't think he's um he's more of a better of an impact player when the uh, the other team is um tiring. If we go through the team, I think well, we've we've mentioned Wallace, we've mentioned Cooper, I think Hutch had a Really good game again. Danny McNamara, really good. They never came down his side at all. For a lovely challenging on Fergie towards the end there. And I, I just think he looks a solid player. I don't think he should have been out the side in the first place. Suit, suits a 4 4 2. The two in midfield, Savile. Savile's not in his best game tonight, but I still think he adds a bit. I wouldn't want to see who one people name who people think. Billy Mitchell's an absolute nailed on starter. Brilliant. Millwall player, Mill fan. Starts, but who would you start in that other place next to him in the two, in the centre? Fleming's done well tonight. He's come through. He's got an absolute fucking weldy. He's in it a free kick that I don't even know how the keeper saved it, and we got it on camera as well. But he'll come good. Now the three that you put up front, you I think it was Bradshaw, Volkswagen, and Tyler Bury. 
that to me is a strange. I mean, tell me who you think that. I think the idea of the three works, but not that three in that combination. It just doesn't work. You know, it does not work. And Bradshaw's a nearly man. I don't think the balls are getting. I mean, Gary Alexander spoke to one of my mates at the half time. He said, I feel sorry for um, Bradshaw. He doesn't get the balls in the box. I think I don't, I'm the jury's out with me. Is he positioning with him? Or is it the right ball into the box? I'm not 100%. A few times when he's had a few snapshots this year where the ball's come in and he snapped at it, he's put it over the bar. He's put it over here. He needs to work on his consistency with his shooting, hitting the target and hitting it at a pace. So the, the three up top, I, I, I don't see what well, I don't see where Volkswagen fits into that. I mean, he's a 31-year-old, never played in this league before. He's off to nothing. He's a poor man's Matt Smith, in a way. I mean, Matt, Matt Smith might have been slow, but at least he'll come on and get you a goal with his nut. I don't see what um, Volkswagen's in the team for. You mean when you've got, when you, especially when you've got impact players on that bench, like Honeyman, you've got Styles. You know, what, 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 how is Volkswagen getting a start? I mean, the phobie didn't look too bad when he came on, but he don't offer enough. Millwall are in desperate need of someone in that forward line in training, stepping up and starting to score goals in our attacking third and starting to create goals in the attacking third because at the moment there's chances. I mean, I thought I, thought, I think it was 14 chances tonight and four were on target. A lot of, I didn't see 14 fucking chances and we certainly didn't look like a side that had created 14 chances and four on goal. We didn't look like it. Like against Blackburn, we went 2-0 we went down all of a sudden we won our attack. What, what, why are we not attacking from the off? A team like Rotherham should have been put to the sword tonight. They had no chances bar that penalty. I I think Mills in for a long season because I don't see that we can we can solve this strike strikers problem. We can't. We just can't solve it. We got no, we got no one there capable of doing it unless you know you you, you know you Bradshaw or Foby chipped in again with your 14, 15 goals. Where, where else are they coming from? But we we got a shore up at the back. We shored up. I like to see the four played a bit more, especially at home. I'd like to know what people thought of that performance tonight. To watch the other thing. I th yes, it's marked improvement. Yes, it's a better thing. Yes, you can only beat what's in front of you. But they are a poor side. And in my opinion, that is two points dropped on the road. That should have been our first away win, and it wasn't. And you know, I was looking at a win here and a win against Borough to put us sort of, you know top half of the table, give us a little bit of breathing space. I know there's other teams like West Bromwich Albion that ain't doing to a Bruce is going to get the sack soon. I mean, you know, your boroughs are down there, but all them teams that are in that bottom three, they're teams that, in my opinion, can get out of there and push up towards the middle of the table. That is dangerous for Millwall's position if we do not start picking up points on until Sunday, Saturday, not Sunday, and we will beat Borough. <laughs> I hope we beat Borough. Till then, we're going to have a couple of Sherbats. Thank you guys. Boo!